What's going on everybody? My gamer tag is CattleProd and today we are looking at the USR Brawler. It's a pretty fun ship. It's offense, offense, offense. All offense in this thing. It has a decent uh, amount of hit points, a decent amount of armor, and um, its weapon selection is a leaves a little bit to be desired for me, but uh, all in all I enjoyed this ship. It looks very much like its Zarek counterpart here. Game's being slow. It looks very much like the Hunter, and it performs uh, in a similar fashion as this ship, whereas the Hunter will jump in and um, unleash its payload on you and then jump away. The Brawler, well, it takes a more blunt approach to it. It has a harpoon torpedo that you can fire, and assuming that it actually locks on and hits the enemy that you've targeted, it will allow you to engage a tractor beam uh, like device and you basically pull the enemy close to you unloading on them the whole time. It has a, uh, a pulse AOE type effect as well. Once the enemy gets in close it will disable the enemy ship for a brief period dis disabling their engines, special abilities, things like that. Um, it's only real uh, downfall that I found is it's, it's thumper cannon. It's uh, the main weapon that it fires, it's okay. Uh, once you get within closing, like you, once you get up close to the enemy, um, it tends to do a little bit more damage, it seems, but from a distance, it's not really that powerful at all. Uh, the harpoon slow pull thing device I just uh, told you about, it has a range of 1500 meters. Pretty, pretty long range, but um, I've had a lot of difficulty getting the the harpoon torpedo to actually hit the target. I don't know if that's because of their point defenses or what, but uh, I have about a 50-50 shot, it seems, to actually hit the target with the harpoon, but you'll see how that works in the upcoming replay. You have your concuss, the AOE uh, defects, or it affects enemy ships, and then that's it. You have uh, attack drones, which do a little bit of a uh, bleed damage to the enemy, but they're not really that effective. Um, so yeah, and that's really about it. It is, doesn't have a whole lot of firepower uh, for my taste, but uh, the harpoon does provide for some interesting uh, occasions in battle, as you're about to see. So this is my first game out in the Brawler. So for most of this replay, it's pretty much me being crap, and uh, I'm more or less just trying to figure out how this ship works and what uh, what will bring me success and what won't. So I'm making an early play here, going straight for uh, the third point on this map, and way over there I see something coming up out from behind that base, and oh, it's an enemy destroyer. That is a long-range powerhouse, and he is firing at me. Ah, oh, crap. Launching my harpoon, harpoon torpedo. And uh, he's he's outside of the uh, operational range of the tractor beam, so he's harpooned, but I can't really do anything about it. So I'm launching my leech drones, and I'm just gonna hide behind this base and attempt to uh, capture it. I'm also being jammed right now, so that means that somewhere in on this map there is a uh, enforcer, I believe it's car called, or a reaper. Uh, one of those two ships uh, does a jamming. Over there in the distance, you can see the sniper engaging something as I'm taking cover here, and uh, so that must be the, uh, I'm going to call it the Enforcer, because I'm not sure which ship it is that actually jams. I am capturing this point, though, so I'm going to try and uh, sneak some shots here on this guy, and uh, he's going to quickly figure out what I'm doing here, and uh, start the return fire. Yep, here we go. Return fire coming in now. I'm pretty much pinned down. Being jammed again, so I have no idea what's going on on the map taking missiles now. This is a dumb idea. I'm not going to win this firefight. So as you can see, the uh, Thumper Cannon not really doing much damage to that thing at all from a distance, but looks like help is on the way. Up there in the top right hand corner, we got a capital or a flagship now moving in, and look at how cinematic this looks from my viewpoint here. That's just awesome. 
watching that flagship close on the destroyer like that. And here we have a wounded enemy vessel. I have about half health, so I fancy my chances. That is an enforcer, I believe it's called. He can deploy shield, which he just did there, which will uh, significantly reduce the damage he takes. And I'm not doing shit to him. Look at how little damage I'm doing to this guy. And as I start to get closer there, the DPS finally starting to add up, but was not prepared for just how close you have to close with the enemy to do any sort of significant damage at all. I was very put off by that in the early goings of this match. This ship is clearly an ambush predator. That's the only way at this point I can see being able to use this thing effectively. Trying the harpoon that destroyer again. I'm back in the same zone shortly after I died and uh, the destroyer is still there so I'm gonna be stupid about it and just drive straight at him. Looks like that enemy enforcer is uh, over there as well. So I really gotta play this carefully. Oh. They have a hunter too. <laughs> Shit. Um, the only thing I can do now is just sail straight on in and from this distance it may not seem like I'm not that far away but apparently I am and I'm not able to do much of anything to that. The destroyer rising up out from behind cover doing significantly more damage to that guy. I'm going to try and get up close here, but oh dear. Looks like I've bit off a little more than I can chew. The whole enemy fleet that's in this sector is now turning and engaging me and not a chance. Not a chance. So alright. Let's try this again. I believe I'm going to uh, beta again. Oh no, I'm going. To, yeah, I'm going to the beta sector now to try to uh, try my luck over here. Currently, we don't have any allies over here, so I'm gonna be sneaky. We just got the gas power upgrade. Oh wait, there is an enemy. Winter, Gor Winter Gorilla. I believe he was in a destroyer. Yep, destroyer. Oh, and they have a sniper. They have a sniper. Oh yes, they have a sniper. And I'm being jammed. I'm not going to stick around and, and fight this by myself. I'm getting out of here. And it's around this time that I realized that I have two allies backing me up. The jamming wore off just as I jumped out of the system. So now I have to wait for my jump drive to cool down and jump back into beta to help my teammates out. So far in this battle, not really impressed with the brawler. The map is pretty open. I mean, it's 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 space. So, uh, being able to pull off ambush tactics in this thing is going to be very tricky. Or I'm just going to have to rely on the enemy being distracted by my teammates and just steal their kills out from underneath of them. Which is more or less exactly what happens here. Winter Gorilla, I jump back into the system. This destroyer is being engaged by uh, my two teammates, Evil Salamander and uh, whoever's the other guy. And I just jump back in doing up close and personal damage. I hit him with the concussive force and uh, DPS the hell out of him. Didn't get the kill, but I helped secure it for your uh, evil, evil salamander there. So, that was sort of effective. I needed to do more of that. <laughs> I need to somehow catch the enemy off guard and get literally right up in their face before they realize it. That, and, oh, look at this guy. <laughs> He's like, screw it, I'm not sticking around. Don't blame him though, it was a uh, three on one, I believe here. So me and this hunter now, there's the hunter now jumping forward, evil salamander. Oh, we got a destroyer, two on one, I like those odds. We are being jammed, so maybe that's an ability that the, that the destroyer can do. Unless there's another enemy ship somewhere, somewhere nearby. I don't know. But either way, closing with Winter Gorilla, it looks like he's targeting me now. I gotta do something about that. Firing missiles at Evil Salamander and the Hunter. And he's harpooned. Perfect. Pulling it, you can see there, the tractor beam now, pulling him in close, slamming him up against cover. He now can't get any of his guns fixated on me. This is perfect as I empty shot after shot. You can see the DPS over there. I've already done 13, 15,000 damage, and boom, got my first kill. Excellent. And there is an enforcer. I've, and forgive me if I'm getting the ship name wrong. I believe that thing's called an enforcer. I'm not sure. But um, 
as I get closer and closer. I, you pretty much have to get up close and personal. Suicide range. And uh, I'm just unloading on that guy as I got up within spitting distance and getting my second kill. Thank you, Jingles. I love having Jingles as my captain, though. <laughs> the freaking... The, uh... It's, uh... Quite a pleasure to have him narrating my many, many, many deaths. <laughs> but, uh, we, we quickly captured Beta, and I jumped into their base because, you know, that's, that's how you win the game. And, um, looks like nobody's followed me. <laughs> I was the first person in. So, let that be a lesson to you kids. Make sure you, uh, watch the map before you, uh, decide to jump into your enemy base. Yeah, I know, Jingles, I'm trying. I'm trying. Jingles. Checking the score right now. I got two kills, five deaths, and five assists. I need to start doing something better because uh, this is not shaping up very well at all. You need to be more careful. You ne need to stick with my team and uh, be sneaky. So I'm going to try and do that. There is. Oh, I have a hunter here with me as well. <laughs> all right. Well, all right, well, there goes being sneaky. Now the enemy knows that we're here. My plan, originally, looks like it's that damn destroyer again. My plan was to hide out back behind these rocks and uh, just kind of lie in wait for the enemy. Oh, and they have a sniper, too. Oh, this is not shaping up well. Well, they, like I said, the plan was to try and sneak around the rocks here and um, ambush them from the side. So, uh... I guess maybe while they're distracted with evil salamander up there and his hunter, maybe I can uh, get in here and uh, do some damage before... Oh, wait. House of Wolves. House of Wolves is in a s sniper vessel, so we got backup. This might actually uh, this might actually work. Looks like the Enforcer has already been dealt with. This destroyer now is all on his own against three ships, and I'm closing the gap. He's been tractor beamed. Look at, look at that. Look how fast that DPS is rising. Evil Salamander securing that kill, though, with a well-placed sniper beam. That's alright, though. That's alright. Moving on now. We're going to capture this point and, uh... <laughs> what a dick. We're going to move in now and, uh, capture the base. And looks like I'm all alone. <laughs> Yet again. That's alright, though. There's no enemies here. So I can get in here and, uh... Oh. We have a sniper up there. That's all right. I fancy my odds. I'm just gonna try and close the distance as quick as I can. Oh, and there's a destroyer that's just respawned now as well. That's not good. It's uh, Sergeant Kester and his uh, his destroyer. I encounter him and uh, the other destroyer pi pilot numerous times throughout this battle, and uh, managed to get the sniper concussed. But no way, no way am I gonna stack up against both of those ships at the same time. <sighs> I got a long respawn. And when I come back, <laughs> look who's there. It's Sergeant Kester at my base. It took him less than a minute to uh, get across the map and get to our base and I guess to try and uh, do some cap points of his own. Unfortunately, me and two of the teammates managed to respawn at the same time as I pretty much hit him with everything I have here. My fighters are deployed. He's been tractor beamed. Didn't quite get a good uh, a good, a good uh, pull there on him because he is able to get most of his turrets on me. But that's all right. I'm just emptying my entire arsenal into him and uh, securing another kill there on Sergeant Kester. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. We had to stop meeting like this. <laughs> so this battle has been winding on for some time now. This video, I think, is only going to be around 15 minutes. This battle... Oh. Was... Well, looks like I ran into an invisible wall there. <laughs> That's alright. It's an alpha test. No one's, uh... No one's going to mind things like that. But anyways, like I said, this battle has been winding on for over a half hour now at this point. And uh, the battles can go really any length of time in this game. They can be, you know, as quick as five minutes or as long as a half hour in this case. It all depends on how vicious the fighting is. You have infinite respawns. Um, so that's that's one really key feature about this game that I do like. It has the, uh, the uh, gameplay and the same 
I don't know how else to describe it other than like thought behind the combat. It isn't mindless. Um, you have to play it kind of like how you would play War Thunder or World of Tanks. You have to be smart about how you do things or else you're just going to get butchered. And, uh, oh damn. I said that was a very close, uh, very close fight there with that destroyer, but uh, unfortunately that, uh, that Reaper getting right up on me there. But we've managed to capture all of Alpha here, and now it's time to go in here and seal the fucking deal. The whole team is pushing towards the enemy base, and the whole enemy team is pretty much here at the base defending it. This was one of the more epic, uh, conclusions to a, a match I've had so far in Fractured Space. I harpooned the uh, the Reaper, but quickly switched targets to that destroyer because he was much, much closer, and uh, I figured I was going to be dead here before I knew it anyways. Doing damage to that destroyer, House of Wolves picking up the kill, turning my attentions back to the Reaper as uh, he, he starts sailing in here towards me. I thought this was going to be it for me because I'm sailing into two enemy ships here, but just emptying my entire magazine into that guy, getting a kill on him. The enforcer now is right in front of me, point blank range, just emptying everything I had into him as well, scoring of a second kill there. And now turning my attention to the sniper, I am pretty much dead. And yeah, there we go. I'm not sure what killed me. I don't know if it was fighters or uh, an a actual main gun damage from an enemy ship, but that's going to be pretty much it for me as we follow evil salamander here and uh, in his uh, his hunter they're gonna go ahead and finish capping the base here and secure the win for us while I have this hunter here on screen that's gonna be the next ship coming up in my uh, my, my uh, coverage of the fracture space alpha test we're gonna be covering the hunter and its uh, similarities and its, and its uh, great differences from the brawler vessel so overall final opinions of the brawler I hated it at first but uh, as the battle went on as I finish here with six kills eight deaths eight uh, six assists and six captures I like it um, now that I've kind of realized you can hug the terrain and uh, you had the potential to really outflank and ambush a little bit I can see that ship being uh, a very, very uh, brutal thing to come up against uh, in the right circumstances. And once you master the the harpoon and the tractor beam uh, ability, I can definitely see people having much success in this ship. I'm definitely going to play it more. I wasn't very put off by it at all by, by the end of this match. I was actually really happy with it. Doing a, a good bit of experience here. Uh, doing a good bit of experience? Earning a good bit of experience here. Overall, a good game out, first game out in the Brawler. With that, I'd like to thank you guys for watching the video. Give it a like down below if you liked it, and I'll see you when I see you. Take care.